This video is brought to you by Movavi Video Editor. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I teamed up once more with Movavi Video Editor because I've told you guys this many times, I always like to introduce you guys uh, new softwares, new programs for you guys to edit your videos in. This month they have released the official Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020. So I'm gonna run through the entire program. At the end, I'm gonna also give you guys a 30% off discount code. So keep watching. If you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash like button down below subscribe if you're new and as always we're gonna get started right after the intro Okay guys, so as you can see right now, this is Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020. We're gonna run through about how to use this program, how to use the features, what the features are for and all that. So right here, as you can see, this is what we will have in terms of like the user interface. We have our preview on the right where you can actually see what we're doing. At the bottom, we have our timeline and on the left of the screen, we have, for example, how, how, like importing your files, the media bin, the sound effects, the music, the sample videos, the backgrounds, the entire menu everything like that so when you boot up this program you're more likely to start with a blank project or you can just open up a project that you have made earlier okay so the first menu right here is file import and that basically means that once you're done filming uh, you want to transfer your uh, footage from your camera onto your computer and then you can just import them right here so if you click on add files it will prompt this box and then you can actually like pick the files and where they're located nothing too special it's just importing files but then below that we have the media bin so this is is basically a feature how you can add photos and videos to use them in the project so right here we also have an add files button where we we'll also prompt the box to import any kind of photos videos everything to use into your timeline it's really really cool so let's just go ahead and click on add files and let's just import a thumbnail of a video that i did a week or two ago so as you can see right now it is basically in our media bin so this is basically where you will see all the files that you're using in your project so now we're going to move on to sounds and this is basically sound effects included in Movavi because let's be honest like other editors for example uh, if it's After Effects I don't know really I don't really know about After Effects but do they have like standard sound effects in their software like automatically you know put in for you Vegas Pro doesn't have that they have like transitions effects all that but they don't have sound effects and music and all that so right here we have for example like applause sound effects this joke sound effect a breaking glass a fail DJ a crash a beep a beep set so we have all kinds of sound effects effects that we can use in our videos so you don't need to go ahead to go to youtube.com then find a sound effect download from youtube to mp3 and then import it it's just really really easy and that's the same for music as well we have all kinds of genres christmas cartoons carefree days a uh, bull and young bright future camp in the woods candlelight bittersweet awakening action movie or you can even download more which is going to bring you to the website and then you can download many uh, many more songs if you wish right here in sample video we have like stock footage kind of thing we have like this camera overlay with like these corners we have a candle we have clouds a clock a countdown from five to zero we have a film strip we have like flames and it's really simple you just want to drag these into your timeline and this is basically what it looks like guys those flames are looking really really hd and crisp we also have money for example like falling from above it's really really cool you just have to click on here and then you will automatically see it in your preview it's really really cool so guys let's move on to the backgrounds where you can also have like gradients starbirds business camera chalkboard grave food christmas love we have all kinds of images you can also use as thumbnails if i click on it you will automatically see it in your preview it's really really nice so it doesn't really matter if you want to use it for thumbnails or not or just drag it in for example if you want to create a music video and you want to have this background you can add in text over it the options are endless guys okay so right here the second button is filters so let's go ahead and drag in a video of mine just like raw without any filters or brightness and contrast applied onto it. Okay, so this is basically from a vlog. What I'm gonna do right now is I have this in my timeline. So the only thing what you need to do is just drag that onto your video and then it's gonna apply to it. And if you play it back, it's gonna look like this awesome glitchy. Let's just play it back. As you can see, it looks very, very cool. You don't need to like separately mask anything yourself. It's really, really nice. And if you want to just undo that filter, uh, it's really simple. What you can do is just press Control Z. And then as you can see, it's removing it completely. And that counts for for all the same filters in this menu guys because we also have like the features ones but we have noise as well adjustments artistic blur color filters 
For example, like if you want to add in a little bit more of like blue or cinematic ones, you can just drag it onto your clip. Really, really cool. And then you can just go to flying objects as well, which, gonna, which is going to fly across the screen. It's just like really, really amazing that they have actually like pre-programmed this for you. So you can just drag and drop it onto your clip straight away. We also have light leaks. So let's just press Ctrl Z and let's undo all filters. Let's drag this light leak that's coming from the bottom left corner. Drag it on there. You guys know how it works. Just play it back. And as you can see, we have these really, really amazing light leaks coming into the screen. We also have kind of vignettes. If you want to spice things up, that's going to like make the corners a little bit more black, a little bit more blurry. Looks very, very cool. But let's move on to the next button, which says transitions. Transitions are crucial if you want to create a video that's like a lot more interesting and keep the viewer engaged. So if you click on the button for the first time, you'll also see how to do it. To add a transition, drag it between the clips you want to join. So let's say that we have one clip, but if you want to go ahead and split that for, for a second, so let's press Control B. Right now we have two separate clips, as you can see. What you can do now is you can just add in a transition. So if I drag in this lens one, this is what it looks like. And obviously you can also choose like the duration of the transition. As you can see, it looks really, really cool. So if you want to check, change the duration, you can just double click on it. And then you can just, for example, pick like two seconds or longer or one second or five seconds. It's totally up to you how you want to like customize these transitions. It's amazing. We have parallax transitions, artistic, fade, blur. Transitions and the options just keep going, guys. Like anything you would you would like to have on your video, it is possible. Let's just play back this one. As you can see, the spiral from the center, it's going to create like this water drop-ish kind of zoom into the next clip. It's really, really handy if you just want to go ahead and spice up your videos and not using, for example, like standard jump cut. Okay, so now that we have transitions covered as well, we have text, but we don't have just plain text that's just going to sit there and do nothing. We also have titles and animated stuff also programmed in here. So let's just go ahead and drag it onto our timeline. So let's pick this title right here. Okay, so as you can see, this is just a line appearing with a title. And it's really handy that if you pause it, you can just go ahead and click on this text button. And then you can automatically customize the text. You can just click straight away onto the timeline. Let's just type in my name, for example. Well, it's a little bit too long, but let's just pick like that. And then we can also type in another day like that. Just for example, that we're making a vlog for, or something. We can just go ahead and do that. So let's just play it back. So this is what it looks like. Our name is popping up right here. And then we can also have like, like really detailed. If you want to change the color of that turquoise line, you can just double click on it. You will have this box and you can, for example, like make it, for example, red. And that's basically how to, for example, also create like lower thirds. So this is what it looks like, guys, completely customized. And that is one of the amazing titles that Movavi has. They have like also standard ones, just text, just sitting but they also have like pre-animated for uh, like for you so let's just drag in this one as you can see if i play it back it's just going to be like floating text onto the screen it is just saving so much time instead of you animating it everything like everything yourself and stuff so it's really really handy guys and this is what like Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020 has to offer. Okay, so we also have stickers. So if you click on here for the first time, you will also see like emojis and circles. Let's say that you want to highlight something in your video, you can just drag on that circle. If you want to create an animation of somebody liking your picture on Instagram, you can just, for example, like drag on this like button right here. We have a thumbs up. We have so many awesome comics, summer emojis, objects, travel, love, masks, sketch, shapes, highlighting, arrows. We have so many things things to choose from guys so let's move on to the last tab as well which says more and this is basically like a menu where you can for example like color adjustments crop and rotate animation pan and zoom use a chroma key so let's say that you're using a green screen like i am just how to remove it real simple it is possible to for example remove the green movavi it's just real simple just click on here and then what you want to do is then just pick for example this icon this pencil and let's say that we're gonna remove all the white you just want to click on here and it's looking like really really sketchy right now but you guys get the idea that's how you pick a color how to remove it it is all possible and the basic things you guys know like such as how to split things in vegas pro you would just press s because s says split right here it works a little different you want to just press ctrl b but it's not really that different from other softwares because i'm just keeping my left hand always on the control and on s because if i press those it will save my project so going from s to b is not really that big of a difference so cutting and all that will just be really really 
easy to learn guys and if you guys would like to pick up this program at the very end right before the outro i'm going to give you guys a coupon code to save you guys 30 percent off this software through the first link in the description guys it is really cool so let's say right now you know to end off the video if you want to go ahead and export your video what you want to do is you want to select everything in your timeline you want to click file and you want to first save your project because let's say that you want to export and something goes wrong you don't want to lose any progress save your project at first and then you want to move to the button which says export so let's go ahead and click export video so right here it works standardly you want to just pick the format mp4 avi mov mpeg1 mpeg2 i would just pick mp4 that's the standard video format and you want to give it a name for example like my new video you want to save it to your desired destination the quality you want to put that one to highest i want to mention that the like the higher the quality is going to be the longer it's going to take to export but that's just obvious and it also depends like like the export time like it depends on so many different factors like how heavy is the footage is your video filmed in 30 fps or 4k how many effects are on the video how many transitions you've used how many songs and sound effects you've used it all like you know impacts the export time so right here you can just export it to a video but if you only want to export the audio you want to just for example click on this audio icon and you can just pick mp3 wav aac flac all kinds of stuff we're going to pick video right now you just want to click on start and then it's going to start exporting your video guys and this is basically how do you use movavi video editor plus 2020 i want to thank movavi for working together with me as well because we just developed like a, such a great relationship and this is basically the software guys enjoy if this video went by too fast just make sure to pause it rewind it and just you know see how things are done if you want to grab your 30 percent off you want to make sure to use the code movavi 2020 you get 30 percent off the software but they also have a seven day free trial so you can just go ahead and download the software mess around with it get to know it and then if you say at the end of these seven days when your trial is done you can just say like yo i'm gonna pick this up i'm gonna just use a code uh, the code movavi 2020 for 30 percent off that's it guys thanks all for watching i hope this video was helpful to you if it was make sure to let me know by liking this video subscribe if you're new and subscribe for also more tutorial videos not necessarily about vegas pro with other programs as well that's it and i will see you guys obviously in my next video.